my lovelies you're welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below it's absolutely free and it helps my channel grow today i'm going to show you guys how to make a 180 degree flare dress or a circle dress i already have a video on my channel on how to make a 180 degree flare skirt or a circle skirt so when you're done watching this video don't forget to watch the other video to see how you can make a skirt using the same method if you want to see how to make a flare or a circle dress then definitely keep on watching without further ado let's get right into the video oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> i'm using three yards of fabric for this dress now if i was gonna sew or make a regular dress that wasn't a flare dress this is how i'm gonna fold my fabric widthwise but because i'm making a flare dress i'm gonna take the top left corner and drag it down to meet the right side of the fabric once i've done that i'm gonna arrange my fabric well so that the center front which is that fold stays away from me so that i'm able to you know mark it or mark her measurements rather now what I'm doing is I'm marking her shoulder measurement divided by two. I just marked that point and then I added one inch allowance. And I'm just making sure that that line is straight. From that shoulder line, I'm marking the length of the dress. I want the length of the dress to be 41 inches and that's what I'm marking now. And I'm just going to move my tape so that I get that curve at the bottom because when you're you place your tape measurements at the baseline which is in this case is my shoulder line and then you just mark the length it gives you a curve rather than a straight line because this is a flare not a straight dress so from that shoulder line i'm just marking eight inches which is going to serve as my armhole and then i'm also marking 12 inches which is her boss point measurement now i'm dividing my tape her measurements her boss measurement by four then I'm placing that on the um, bust point line. Place that there and then I added two inches allowance to that. Now I'm just extending that line upwards to the armhole line, which I had marked previously. And then from that armhole line, I'm drawing the armhole curve to connect with the shoulder line. Now I'm just extending that um, bust line. Now remember that since this is a flare dress, all you need to get is your shoulder and your bust measurement. Once you get that right, the rest of the dress would automatically fit because it's actually free, it's flare and it's open. So you don't have to bother about your hip measurements and your shape measurements and all that. All you need to get right is your bust measurement and your shoulder measurements. Having cut the front bit, I'm just taking the front bit and then I use it as a template or as a pattern to cut the back bit. Once I've done, I'm done with that. I'm just marking her um, neck line. The width I used is three and a half inches, and the depth is four inches. For the back, I also used three and a half inches, but for the depth of the back, I used two inches. Remember that the width I'm saying is while folded. So since I use it, since I use three and a half inches while folded. When it's open it's going to give seven inches so the neck is basically seven inches wide and all i'm doing now is i'm just cutting the shoulder slant so it's slanted now if you're using an akara fabric or a fabric that doesn't have a very long um length or a very long width rather you have um you might have to join the bottom parts which is what i'm just doing now. i'm just taking a piece of fabric and just um you know marking the place where i'm going to join and then i also cut out that label so it doesn't show when i join it but if you're using a fabric that is by 60 you might not have to cut um, you might not have to join anything because it might be okay it also depends on the length of your gown if you're making a very long flowing gown you definitely have to join but if you're making a very short gown you might not have to join now moving on to the sleeve all i'm doing is just folding the sleeve like a, it's a regular um straight sleeve I'm just drawing the baseline where I'm going to start my measurements from. Now from that baseline, I'm marking upwards, I'm marking 10 inches, which is going to be the length of the sleeve. And then her round sleeve is um, 15 inches divided by two, that's seven and a half inches. And then I just added a um, one inch allowance and I'm just connecting those points and then drawing a curve that would fit in the armhole. 
and I'm just cutting along um, that line. I'm gonna do the same thing with the second sleeve. So I'm gonna use this sleeve to as a template to cut the second sleeve. Now moving on to our sewing machine, this is the back piece. I just unfolded it, and then I'm placing the front piece right sides facing with the back. As you can see, I'm not using a lining for this. If you want to use a lining, all you need to do is um, cut the same things you cut for the fabric on the lining, and then turn the fabric with the lining before you start sewing. So in my case, I'm not using the lining, so I just went straight and joined the shoulder of the front and the back together. That's what I'm doing now. And once I'm done with that, I'm just going, going ahead to sew um, the sides. So I'm basically shaping it at the sides. I'm, I left a one and a half inch um, allowance, seam allowance while I was sewing. That's because I had initially put in a two inches allowance when I started. So I have basically half inch on both sides. So that's about one inch um, of ease on the dress. So that would allow her to, you know, be comfortable while she's wearing it. So it's not too tight. So I did the same thing on both sides. I simply joined the two sides. Um, yeah. And now I want to trim the shoulder and the armhole. So I'm just making sure I got the center of the dress. Now I'm marking her shoulder measurement. Her shoulder measurement is 15 inches. Now half of 15 inches is seven and a half. So I made sure that seven and a half inches was right at that center line. And then I marked zero on the left side and 15 inches on the, the um, right side. I also added half inch um, um, allowance to the shoulder now from the shoulder downwards I'm marking eight inches downwards and then I'm just drawing a cuff to connect that eight inch mark with the shoulder allowance I had created now I'm just um, cutting those armholes just following the curve I created just cutting it neatly now it's important that you go further again to trim to the trim the <laughs> to trim the front part of your shoulder Yes, it's important you do that because as women, we have bust, like we have breasts. So if we don't trim it like this, it would really fold in front because of the breasts we have. So moving on, I'm just taking one of the sleeves. I had already woven it all the way around. I'm just folding it at the hemline now and then I'm just sewing that down. I did that for both sleeves. Now I'm just folding it. I'm just folding the sleeve in in half and then i'm making sure that i'm sewing the sleeve or shaping the sleeve with her round sleeve measurement in mind so her round sleeve measurement is seven and a half inches i just made sure that i considered that or i put that into consideration while i was shaping it so i made sure that the sleeve was um 15 inches wide or when when folded seven and a half inches when i shaped it and now I'm just making sure that the seam of the sleeve aligns with the seam of the dress. So I'm just making sure that those um, seams align. And then I'm placing that, I'm just tacking it and then I'm sewing it all the way around. So I'm sewing the sleeve to the armhole of the dress all the way around. Once that's done, this is what we have i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other sleeve as well I'm gonna just go ahead and sew or join the other sleeve to the other armhole and that's it i've joined the second sleeve to the second armhole now i'm going to pipe the neck with the fabric because i don't want to use a bias i want everything to just be the fabric so i just simply cut a half inch wide um or a one inch wide um band and then that's what i'm going to use to pipe the neckline of the dress so i started from the front i just sewed that band all the way around the neck on the right side yes i started from the right side and then i sewed it all the way around the neckline And once that's done, this is what it looks like. Now, I'm gonna make sure that I'm looking at the um, wrong side. 
then I'm just folding the um, one inch band that I used to pipe the neck I'm just folding it inwards to the wrong side of the dress and then that's where I'm sewing it as well so I'm folding it inwardly to the wrong side and then sewing it on that side And once that's done this is what we have guys i also have a video on my channel on how to make a circle dress without sewing so if you want to see how i made that then definitely click on the link on the top right corner thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one bye